Hello everybody, and welcome back to Beyond Gravity. The, the game where we crashed our ship. The cool beard guy crashed his ship and now we're working on fixing it. The calm gameplay. Um, where we jump from ship to ship, or from planet to planet, in a custom generated game. No levels ever the same. And we just work on getting as many screws and cogs as we can. But, upgrades are ridiculously expensive, so it's going to take a while. We want to... Oh no, we failed. Play again. We're just going to rapid fire a couple rounds, and I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot for forgetting to set, uh, not an alarm, but a thing. Let me know how long I've been. There's my iPod. Mid-break pause here. Set a timer for, yeah, that's long enough. Oh, wow, that was dumb. Hey, we still saved it. Nice job. Let's set it for this. So, I really like not only the graphics of this game, but but the art, well, the artwork and the graphics are the same thing, but I mean, I really like the gameplay, too. It's not too hard. It's not stressful by much. We got an achievement, reach 500 meters. And I wasn't sure if I should do, like, a series on this. I'm not going to do a series, but... I think I'll definitely uh, upload the occasional episode, like maybe once a week or once every other week or something, or just whenever I feel like doing it, really. Whenever I'm bored, really, and I just want some a nice, calm, fun game to play. Hopefully this one looks a lot better than the, the first one because I fixed some issues that we had. Like it was, it, like it should be big enough now. Um, it should be recording fine. We reached 500 meters, so we get a thousand screws out of that. Nice. Eight out of 40 goals complete. New. Have five near miss encounters with the fireball. I think we can do that. We're not even going to touch our stash until we hit like 25,000. We have like 12,000 now. That was late. Oh man, we still have saved it. That was actually really close. Oh, we got one near miss. Second near miss. We got a three times multiplier. Four times. Oh no, we don't. Not yet. Collect total of a hundred gold screws. It's a neat achievement. I'm gonna wait on this one. So space is the only control in this game, and we and we're just jumping from planet to planet, avoiding the void and oh oh nice. I don't know how we managed to save that one, but we're avoiding the void and fireballs. Actually, now that I think about it, since we're in space, gravity shouldn't be applying, right? So why the heck do we fall out of the sky? Hmm, that's a little bit weird, but interesting. How even in space we're like falling out of the sky.
Yeah, we're getting some nice screws. We might actually be able to beat our record. I think we were in like the 1300s. Or 1500s, almost. So we might actually be able to beat that. And we're trying to like quick fire a little bit while also getting as many screws as we possibly can. We got another near miss. A oh, fourth near miss. We're about to get our fifth near miss. I don't know where our max limit is either. We might actually break our record here. Yeah, we got our five near misses. Oh, 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 we got roasted by that one. But we got 2,300 screws. I'm not sure if you can actually see the whole screen. You should be able to, the whole window. We got two Steam achievements. But yeah, I'm not sure if you can actually see the whole Steam win or the whole window. You should be able to, but it's not quite fitting in the entire screen. So yeah, I might have to scale it down a tiny bit. We have to get 40 time a 40x chain, which is pretty easy, or die and die three times, which is easy. Okay. Our best distance is 14, yep, we beat our record. Our best distance is now 1,430 meters. So let's do that again. We'll probably get the third achievement as well, which is jump on 200 planets. Because we had 150. I don't know how many planets we jump on, but if we reach our, near our goal again. No, I mean, truthfully, I am using this for somewhat of a a test for for OBS as well, just to make sure, because I'm changing some settings and things like that behind the scenes, to see if it changes anything. I'm going to wait this one out. There we go. We almost have that 40x chain. Oh, we missed one, though. I should have... Yeah. Oh well. We're gonna hit the 200 planets any more minute now. We're gonna hit the 40, well, the 40 chain in a second. There we go. 40 uh, chain. We got that achievement. I'll have to actually check on Steam and see what those achievements do, like if it gets me anything for getting the achievements. And we died three times. And we're ten away from getting the 200 planets goal. We got those two achievements on Steam as well. I guess all 40 of these goals are available on Steam. Have two near miss encounters with Fireball in one game, that's easy. Play 30 games, that's easy too. Land on a total of 200 planets, so. One. Two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I guess we were one. Oh, <laughs> I ran right into that. We got our 200 planets, though. Collect a total of 500 gold screws. Let's play another game, huh? Yeah, this is definitely a really cool game, though. And I would recommend anybody who likes just leisure games just to check it out if it's on stick. If you want to, I mean, I think it's two dollars on Steam full price, but it was. I got it on sale when it was like sixty cents. So I mean, that could very well happen again. Either during like a Christmas sale or Black Friday sale in November, you know. So I would definitely recommend you keep your eye open, and if you like this game, definitely pick it up. When it's on sale or full price, I don't care. It's your money. I usually just wait until games on are on sale and then I buy them. I think the only full price game I bought on on um, Steam so far out of my like 30 plus games is Victoria. I bought the Victoria package for like forty dollars in May for my birthday. Oh, that was silly. And I bought that for like forty dollars. I haven't even played Victoria One yet, but I could and probably should eventually. But yeah, and then it went on sale like last month for like twenty dollars. But honestly, I don't mind. Victoria Two and the expansion packs were honestly worth the thirty dollars that I spent on them because they're really fun. So. Let's see if we can get that fireball near miss achievement this time. There's one. There we go. Booyah! I think I missed it. Yep, I messed up. But we got another achievement, another goal. Woo! Collect a thousand screws or cogs in one game. Uh, that'd be interesting. Once we hit 25,000 in our stash, I'll check it out. I'll see if I get what I should buy. Let's see if we can get a nice combo going here. Oh no, we missed it. Darn. I was close to the combo. Ooh. That was actually pretty bad. Apparently he jumps forward no matter what, so that's interesting. The one thing I do wish from this game is that we could like customize the guy. But there were, or maybe there was more to the story or something where yeah. Or even if it was like DLC where you could like customize your guy and once you get your ship fixed here, you can move on to a different a different area. I don't know. It sounds like it'd be cool. But this still by itself is pretty cool. And for for two dollars full price or sixty-five cents on sale, it really is worth it. I mean the artwork alone, it's not like just some cheaply made game, so just the artwork alone should tell you that it's not just some cheapo mate cheapo game that's only worth seventy-five cents, you know? But it's pretty cool. 
I assume they, I mean, I don't know. This seems like a game they could very well have in, as an app as well. I'm not sure if they do or not, but if it is, it definitely makes sense, because I could see this game being an app. We're at 1,100 meters. Ah, oh, rest in peace. We got the thousand screws and cogs in one game. So, GG. Got another Steam achievement, yep. And there we go, guys. I, I just wanted to play a little bit of Beyond Gravity. Um, let's check our spaceship out. We can increase our jump speed for 10,000. Or reach pickups. We can triple jump for 20,000. I think that's actually worth it. Or 80,000 for an optimal jump trail. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. These are all way too expensive. We can buy different costumes, but you know, don't need to do that just yet. Hmm. Upgrade pickup score multiplier to two X. That's a hundred thousand. Do I want to triple jump or do I want to pick up, reach pickups that are further away? Might not do anything, but let's choose uh, this one. Oh wow, we have like a magnet on our back now. Let's try this baby. Wow, he actually does have like a magnet on his back. That's kind of weird. But it's cool. That's interesting. He has like a weird magnet on his back. That's still cool. And you get and blah 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 blah. And you get anyways, guys. With that, I guess that'll be the end of this episode of Beyond Gravity. I hope you're enjoying it. I know I am. It's definitely a nice, peaceful game. I'm glad I'm playing it because it's a pretty neat game, honestly. I really do like the art and the music and just a general feel of it. It's a nice, calm game. So, go give Kweebu some love. I guess that's the creators. Go give them some love. Go check out this game for yourself if you want. Until next time, guys, this has been Duke of Hoth, and I will see you later.